Well, now that we've got the the mail box installed, wouldn't it be nice to have a grab bar over there where Mother could use a grab bar on the other side of the wall so she can step up and be safe? Right here. Oh! Look at that. There's already one here. Well, we just I just installed that after installing the mailbox. If you want to see how to install it, and that and that makes it that makes it nice and easy for mother to to come down and get her mail. She can grab this, go out like that, get her mail, put her mail on her walker, and then reach up here, grab this. And come back in. Okay. If you want to see how I did that, stick around because I've got some good information when it comes time to installing a grab bar. Well, this is the brand it was mowing, and here it is the grab bar 18 inches. And see, you got all different kinds of sizes in the store, and my idea is to put it right in this cavity and I was hoping it was going to fit and I measured it earlier and look at that it just barely fits up in there and the problem is the bottom one is slightly is slightly hitting so when I put it in there um, I may I may have to slightly notch out the edge of the door jam now this is a window assembly uh, a, a window shutter you know the plantation shutters if you wanted, you'd have to un you'd have to pull these caps off, undo the pull the caps, maybe put the screw in a little bit more if it could be slid that way, and you probably have to adjust and slide that one over, push that one over. This would be pushed over. This would be pushed out ever ever so little to get that. And I'm hoping not to do that. This has a little bit of a flex in it, and um, I might be able to get it. I don't really want to move this because I don't I don't want to I don't want to have to worry about this later. So I'll, I'll see if I can wedge it in there and worst case I may have to like just notch out like just a hair. It's only it's only going to be from here to there you know at the high point and I'm not going to have to worry about hey what if I don't hit studs. I will hit studs because we're by a door there's a header that goes across this door, and then the header, this header happens to probably go all the way across there, and then uh, they've probably filled in underneath the header or something, and then they've got uh, a, a, a king uh, two by four, a king stud probably next to the header, or if that header goes all the way across, uh, then, the, then the king stud will go all the way up, the king stud will go all the way up, and then they have a trimmer underneath the header and so that's three inches of wood and then you got the same thing uh, between your window frame and this over here so this is all this is all filled up from wood from here to about and where is that to about here because the sheetrock's there and so all of this that far is all wood so I don't have to worry about not hitting a stud right and so I'll get ready, I'll hold that up there, mark it, and um, I'll pre-drill it, and away I go. Now that, that was the height I determined that I wanted the top of that. And so I can, I can, eye, I can eyeball that where it goes, right? Right to there. And on these grab bars, they give me they give me uh, three, three screws, and I could put in just two screws if I wanted, or, or I could even put different screws in there. I don't have to necessarily use their stainless steel screws if I didn't want. I could use regular drywall screws if I wanted to. And then, if I did that, I could save these nice, these nice screws for something else. So before, before I. Uh, decide that, I'll, I'll look and see, uh, but see for right now, I can hold that, I can take my scratch all and just put it in the center of that hole. 
wherever I, wherever I feel I can get it more easily than not. Okay, and that's where those three are going to live. And then I, I do the same thing down here at the bottom. Just hold that carefully without it moving. And I'm going to mark it. I could do that with a felt tip pen, a pencil, whatever. Okay, that's where, that's where it's going to go. Okay, so I'll look at these screws and or first off I'll make a determination what kind of screws I'm going to use and uh, I'm going to see if I have some drywall screws and that way like I say these are stain these are stainless steel screws I may save those because it's always nice I could always use those for something else right I don't have to use it for this because the trim is going to cover them up okay and it will be just Fine. All right. Of course, if I was in a if I was in a bathroom or in a shower or something, I wouldn't use drywall screws because then they would they could rust. I could I could use some other different types of screws if I wanted. If I didn't want to use the stainless steel screws, but just think about it before you start using those screws. All right. I'm going to see if I can't find some drywall screws. Yeah, I'm probably going to find something in there but I did I did find these it's like a drywall screw but it, it's got a spline head and I happen to have some bits I, I got a little container like this with different screw driver bits and stuff and I happen to define it see what it looks like that's what it looks like there and it happens to fit right in there. Okay, I think those are plenty long. I think I'm going to use those. And I look at that. I happen to have six right there. But I'm going to look and see if I have any uh, regular drywall screws. Because see, I could use these for something else. If I was doing something exterior-wise, I could use these for exterior. Can't do that with black drywall screws. So I'll see what I can find out before I make my decision. Here's something I found. These are drywall screws, but look at the head. Square. You see a square head? I happen to have some squares. And that fits right in there. And I think I'm going to use these. These aren't the longest screws, but they're going to go through uh, half-inch sheetrock and then the rest is going to go into wood. And it's vertical. The, the grab bar is vertical, so it's not horizontal. There's not going to be that much weight on it. Nobody is ever going to pull it out of the wall. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use right there. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Got them marked. Hold that up there. And that looks good right there. Okay. Before I do any more up top, I'm going to do the bottom. Get the screw in there. And I still think I'm going to have to, I might have to notch. I might have to kind of do something right in there. But I still, can screw it in, right? Okay. Now I can come back up here. See, I didn't have to pre-drill anything either because these are drywall screws. If they were three inches long, I'd have to pre-drill it, which means I would have pre-drilled before I put the grab bar up. So I could get the screwdriver in there. Okay. Ah, let's see if that top top was tight. 
Somebody's going to have a big old surprise when they try to take this out with a Phillips screwdriver, huh? Because I've got that square head screws. That is, you could you could put the screws anywhere you want on that slide. How, however, whichever ones is easier. You could put it here, over here, down there, depending if you were hooking this up at an angle, a diagonal, uh, horizontal, vertical, whatever. Okay, that's that's it. That is that is never going to come off the wall, and I am going to be able to. That top one should. That top one should snap on nice and, nice and easy. I say that, but it should. Ah. Oh, ah. you know, I might have to, uh, ah. before I get it on there all the way, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, uh, Loosen up the screws, I think. And slightly push it over. And I think I can do that. With these screws. Yeah, okay. Right there. Right there. That gives me, that gives me just a little bit of a gap. This one seemed like it, like it was kind of, uh, yeah, see it's stripping. Um, probably because it's in between two two by fours. Okay, so I'm gonna put it up here. That, I don't need one there. And now, I've got just a little bit of gap between, and there's little nibs, three nibs, and I want to keep them so it's not at the very top, so I don't see it, and I should be able to to uh, snap it on there. There, there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Beauty. I see. That's how you get that on there. See, it's it's nice and snug. Now this one down here, this one here, I'm gonna have to work on it a little bit because it's not gonna it's not gonna fit in there. See, see how this is up snug right there, and it's snug there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to decide uh, what to do there to to get this on. It might be a little. A little screwdriver and a little bit of gouging into the wood. And this one, see this one here, I can, I can, I can push over with my hand. And I think I can get that one. So, so it's just a little bit right in there. I'm going to have to work, work it a little bit to fit that in. But I'll be able to do it. <laughs> 